Well, here's what the cockpit looks right now. It looks like. Various things are all nice and installed. And as you can see, it's kind of running flight simulator. Not real well, but it's running it. Um, this is primarily for a control test more than anything else. This is the wiring setup, the old style plasma board. Down here, the rudder pedal setups. You see the toe brakes. Those kind of work. The throttle, I'm not really impressed with. For whatever reason, the slide pots are very, very noisy. And I'm not sure if it's got something to do with how I wired it or those Borns pots, there's something wrong with them. Or maybe the plasma just doesn't like them for some reason. Um, I got some research to do to find out what the hell the problem is. Uh, but as you can see, it kind of works. And it is flyable. I mean, I can pull back on the stick and it does its thing and roll it. Not real fast, mind you, but it does its thing. And I'll give you an example of the throttle if you look at the, the throttle thing there. When I bump the throttle up just a little bit, you see it start to bounce real fast. You see? And uh, it just causes problems. And I gotta dig into it and see what's wrong with it. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be something easy to fix. I'm going to throw it on a potentiometer or a multimeter first and, uh, and see how that works. Um, this is not the handle I'm going to use for this. Uh, but you can see you've got nose gear right here, right and left gear, landing gear switch, uh, prop de ice, speed brake, pitot heat, master arm. Interior strobe, position, uh, landing, taxi lights. Down at the bottom is left and right magneto, starter, fuel pump, master avionics, and master battery. And you can see it's really cramped down there. I don't know how well you can look at that, but it's real tight. Um, I had some actually problems fitting it in. Uh, because it was so tight. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.